This is a Game Caviar production. You know, you gotta love Adult Swim. The, uh, the adult programming that comes on Cartoon Network at night. Uh, they show a bunch of replays of Adult Swim classics like Delocated, which is on right now. Uh, Squid Billies. And uh, Family Guy American Dad, which isn't an Adult Swim exclusive. I know for a while after they canceled Family Guy, it stayed on uh, Cartoon Network, Adult Swim, for a while. And that really fueled the uh, resurgence of the Family Guy series. And I I would admit, I didn't like Family Guy that much at first. And uh, I love that show now. I, I watch it all the time. I don't watch the very beginning episodes because everything was different, man. Like... Uh, What's her name? Mila Kunis wasn't on it, and they had a different, yeah, a different actress for Meg, and it just looked shitty. And I, I don't like seeing old uh, shows of uh, shows <laughs> that I don't like seeing old episodes of shows that I like to watch now because the difference was so drastic from then to now that it's hard to really put your mind back into the past. American Dad is another good show that I grew into because I really hated that show at first. I didn't think it was funny at all, but now it's absolutely hilarious. And one of the most uh, enjoyable shows on Adult Swim, King of the Hill. I said it, King of the Hill. Of course, they don't make any new King of the Hills anymore, but I can literally watch all of those shows, except for the early ones, of course. But I can rewatch those shows and just have as much uh, enjoyment watching them as I did when I first saw them. And of course, like Squid Billies and Metal Apocalypse. What else? Tim and Eric, awesome show. Great job. Uh, off the Air. They have a lot of shows that are really good. If you have never seen Adult Swim on Cartoon Network, check it out. I, I'm pretty sure most of you have because it's kind of a big deal. But if you haven't, check it out and it's enjoyable this game right here is uh hot and cold sometimes it's really enjoyable you're like man i really love playing this game and sometimes you don't black ops on ps3 i just got finished playing some assassin's creed 3 i'm still in love with that game i was playing it for the majority of the day um i had to go to the doctors today and they had to do a uh, allergy test on me which i've never had done if you haven't had an allergy test done let me tell you what they do they sit you down they make you uh roll up your sleeves to take your shirt off they uh mark down your arm and they have 20 like 27 prickly blue prickly things that don't really break the skin like a needle but what they do is they put different things on your skin and see if you get an allergic reaction to it that's how they know if you're allergic well what they did was um they did exactly what i said they marked off my my arms and they pricked me and i had to sit there for 15 minutes and the doctor comes in looks at it and he says okay this this and this is reacting everything else looks good and then he said let's do an intradermal uh test and i'm like okay that's cool and he walks out of the room and he's like nurse let's get this guy <clears throat> let's do an intradermal test on him so i'm like cool about five ten minutes later the woman the nurse the really nice lady she comes in with a tray of 27 needles right and i i don't have a fear of needles but i absolutely despise needles like you see documentaries of people shooting up heroin and shit like that i'm like i don't understand how you could do that because i i do not see myself ever being in, in a position to use a needle on myself anyway <clears throat> she's like okay yeah these needles this isn't gonna hurt what we're going to do is we're going to take these needles and we're just going to poke them underneath your skin. And it's full of the same allergen and a saline solution. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get a better reaction out of your skin. I was like, fuck, I don't want to do this. So I had to sit there and get stuck 27 times. And it didn't hurt. It's just the fact that I don't enjoy having needles in my body. All in all... They found out that I was allergic to like mold and some other shit. I don't know, uh, uh, dust mites, things like that, uh, which isn't a big deal. But um, that whole process in itself was like, uh, I don't want to go through that again. And I'm glad I won't have to. Anyway, Black Ops 2 is, is not far away. It is November 2nd right now. So 
we only have uh, a few days, like a week and a half, two weeks maybe. No, it's like a week. It's less than two weeks now before the game gets released. And, of course, live streaming, videos the night it comes out, all that good shit that you would expect from a high-quality gaming channel such as Game Caviar. For all of you who had seen my video on Thunderstruck Gaming and decided to subscribe, thank you. I really appreciate it. You're part of a movement that will not stop. And, um... Welcome along for the ride, man. I really appreciate you guys. Drop me a comment. Uh, if you had an allergy test, let me know. And we can talk about that if you need support. Um, uh, and if you like anything else that I talked about in this video, let me know. And we can chat about that. Anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. And I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.